29 people were on board the British Aerospace 748 turboprop when it landed on the private runway at Langford Lodge, an American base in the Second World War. No one was injured. The land is now owned by an ejector seat company, and the airfield, which is beside Loch Ney, is used by their small planes. One of the passengers said the aircraft had made a safe landing. They were taken by minibus to Aldergrove Airport, which is a few miles away, after a delay of about one hour. An airport spokesman said their emergency services had not been called out. Danair said the crew were later flown back to England for a debriefing. They would not comment on reports that the pilot may have mistaken the runway for the main one at Aldergrove. According to local residents, there was a similar incident here about eight years ago involving a Spanish aircraft. Alan Craig saw the plane coming into land. The lights were on on the plane and the wheels coming down. I didn't think too much of it because living about here they're always landing and all. And then uh, as I went on down the road I noticed that it was going to land there and I goes, Jeepers, this is a funny place for this plane to be land. So I watched and it came up the runway and it had landed. And then uh, I went then on on down and by this time the staff had been out at the plane with a set of steps. The aircraft took off from Langford Lodge some six hours after it had landed and flew back to Newcastle from Aldergrove this evening.